Tonight, we're catching up with Of the Sky from Sparta on the 9 o'clock news local edition here on Rock 93.7. The double J, J squared. No, we're not going with any of that, are we? We've got uh, Joey and Joseph. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hey, how you guys doing? I think you were still looking for members the last time I talked to you. We are actually still looking for a vocalist at the current moment right now. I am not going to feel the bill for that. <laughs> well, this recruitment mission is uh, well, it's, it's pretty well busted now, man. Seriously. Nobody's going to let me yodel on their album. That's my dream. It's not going to get fulfilled. So let's just move on and move past that. You do do your vocals. You guys almost in the vein of, uh, well, I think at one time Metallica had offered somebody else to come in and sing for them. You're kind of in that vein. Oh, yeah. I mean, the best way to kind of look at it is we're not hurting in the situation that we're in. We enjoy what we're doing. We like what we're doing. We have fun doing what we're doing, making the music that we like. It's just we, we kind of feel like there's a piece missing to make it better. It, it's not really my intention to be the lead singer. We want somebody else to come in and kind of add their spark and their flair to what we're doing. And we, we still think that person's out there that can make what we're doing even better. But once again, we're not letting the fact that uh, it's just the three of us stop us from that. And the third member that's not here is? Uh, we've actually added Grayson Jackson, formerly of Fate of Adam, to our band. Been playing with us for about a year. Uh, Grayson apologizes for not being able to come out tonight. Factory work, you know, it's kind of a dog. Duty, duty calls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to pay the bills. That comes first. As you're trying to be a struggling band, getting your music heard, you've still got to keep the lights on to be able to make that music. So we're going to talk about the music that you have been making, the addition of Grayson into the band, and we'll discuss how it's gone, where you're going, and new music that you're working on. As we talk with Of The Sky tonight on the 9 o'clock news local edition here on Rock 93.7. A little bit of a lineup change, and the search continues for Of The Sky. We're talking with them tonight on the 9 o'clock news local edition here on Rock 93.7. Last time I spoke with you, you were in the process of trying to figure out what to do next. You were wanting to round things out a little bit. I don't recall that the search was a vocalist last time around. Oh, well, yeah, last time uh, we basically had John Beatty playing bass and vocal. He did an amazing job at it and everything. John's decided he's, he's going off to college. He's going to make something of himself. He's he's given up that rock and roll lifestyle, as, as Cake would put it. We, we brought Grayson in, and Grayson's like me. Grayson loves playing the instrument, and we just didn't want the train to stop. So I bit the bullet, said, all right, guys, I'll do my level best. I'll start singing, and until we find somebody that comes along... This will just be us, and the world can just take it or leave it. Okay, so before, we were looking for... Um, a bass player. A bass player. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, Rock. I knew we were looking for something. Yeah. I knew there was one instrument that was missing that you were like, if we just had this. Yeah. You get this. Yeah. You think you've got to round it out, and then... They leave. And then it goes. Is Rod John was filling in that part at the time. Yeah. How does that affect your pursuit for making music? Does it overwhelm? Does it make you feel defeated? Or does it make you want to just shake it off and try harder? Well, it kind of takes away the thing that I think as a musician you like doing the most, which is getting out and playing. Um, we still get out and play. We've played a lot of shows recently in the past year. I think you've even actually helped us advertise a few of the shows. And we get out there and we do our best and everything. I yeah. recall you had an event or two. We put it up on the, yeah. the 9 o'clock news local edition has a Facebook page. And we yes. kind of we share events up there from time to time. We, we like to let bands or fans know where bands are going to be at. So I, yeah. I recall doing that for you guys as far as you getting out. And in fact, at the time, you were pushing to try and do a little bit more get in to record some songs. Yeah. Now that you're moving towards doing that, do you feel like your vocals are strong enough to carry on to the recording? I don't really feel like it's holding us back from doing what we want to do. Just, I, I think every band strives to be the best possible band they can be, but you also have to accept your limitations along the way. So we're just hoping for somebody that can be if we were to take on somebody, somebody that could be kind of the next step taker for us. Not somebody to just walk in and sing the, the lyrics that we have, but somebody who will add just that extra element to us. And as far as shows uh, you talked about, we, we, yeah, we have played a decent amount of shows with me as vocalist. We played the, the End in Nashville, played a couple of charity shows, one in McMinnville. We're very proud of those shows, and we feel as though we, we showed out very well and we've had really good performances. It's just, I, I think every musician has that, that ring in front of them, that bar that like they want to reach. And once you reach that one plateau, you want to try to reach the next one and the next one and the next one. Like I said, we've kind of resigned ourselves to, if this is what we are, 
we're going to try and reach it as the three of us. But we're also open to the possibility of having somebody come in that could add yet another flavor to what we're doing. And you're growing your vocals with this. And you've actually brought one of the recordings. We're going to give this a listen now. Don't ever change... This is you doing the vocal work on this. Where did it come from? Everybody's seen those cliche like yearbook entries and stuff like that, where it's like, or if you were to be told by a significant other, you need to stay the way you are because you're special the way you are. And that kind of concept of like, don't ever change who you are, but yet you're not good enough for me. So whenever we kind of laid that song out, it's very openly aggressive, but it's also very simplistic in that you, you pick up what it's about from the beginning. Just, I mean, it's an emotion that a lot of people can relate to, and it's what kind of drives the song around the music. It's Of the Sky on the 9 o'clock news local edition here on Rock 93.7. A little bit of a lineup change and a sort of different direction for Of the Sky as we catch up with them tonight on the 9 o'clock news local edition here on Rock 93.7. Say who you are and what you do in the band. Um, I'm Joseph. I am the guitar and the lead vocal. I'm Joey, and I am the drummer and encourager of ideas. <laughs> Kazoo player. Um, multi-li- multi-instrumentalist, if you will. Whatever you want to add. Dobro fiddle. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you Whatever do? fits the song, that's what you go with. Do you limit yourself? It is a three-piece now, so when you're writing the material now, do you look at it and go, let's keep it scaled down? Or do you look at it and go, let's just write it? We write our songs as a three-piece, but we leave room to add extra if it needs any extra instrumentals. It's There's nothing that can't be put into it. If we need, I mean, if you always need more cowbell, we can fit it in there somewhere. If we need a cajon somewhere, we can fit it in there somewhere, or a third guitar. We got room. And yeah, I mean, that's just the best way to put it. We kind of have an ethic about what we want to do and what we want to sound like, but it's not like we're like, oh, okay, we're a punk band. These all have to be punk songs. And it kind of leads to, you know, like one song will be straightforward and very aggressive and the other song won't be as much. So you'll have a very oasis sounding songs right next to songs that sound more like Silverchair next to songs that might sound more like old school punk, like The Descendants or Early Green Day or something like that. We we try to just take an idea as it comes, and if it's a good idea, develop it the, the way that we can see fit as being, you know, lowly amateur musicians. So it doesn't have to be complicated from the start. Well, basically, no. whatever structure you want to have, you're going to have to have a foundation for you to start from. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Makes sense, but you do have some idea as far as I think you said it kind of whatever it flows into, it flows into. But do you look at it and go, okay, it's flown into this, but it needs to be an of the sky song. So let's call that back. I mean, as far as putting it together, it's basically everything starts with a guitar progression. Then basically we get together and we hammer it out, guitar, drums, bass. They add a lot to it to color the sound it's basically just a simple acoustic song whenever everything starts. And then Joey will play something, and I'll be like, it'll make me want to change a little something about it. And then Grayson will add something to it. And I'll hear something in what Grayson's doing that I didn't hear when I originally started with. So it just kind of evolves into something like that. We kind now, of form into yeah. each other. We didn't really throw them out because they didn't fit our sound. We just kind of threw them out because we felt we had better. So they're just kind of sitting there laying just in case we need it. Like somebody asked for a two-hour set. I mean... We would die, but we would have. Oh, we might need it though. <laughs> well, we're not. We're not like yeah, Foo Fighters or. Guns I, I hope Roses we had that vocalist by that time. <laughs> yeah, no, no Paradise City in the. Well, second don't sell hour. yourself so short. So you I mean, guys... we've already pulled off an hour with him, so I think we can do. I can think we can do two. I had to have <laughs> oxygen afterwards. Some IVs. Well, you guys clearly keep the camaraderie as part of what you're doing. That whole back and forth friendship mm-hmm. part comes into the band. Carries over into the music. That's part of the writing experience and stuff. Let's talk about uh, lineup change and how it's impacted that relationship. I want to get a, get into that and what your plans are for your next album because you're working on that. So we'll cover those things as we continue tonight on the 9 o'clock news local edition with Of the Sky here on Rock 93.7. It is the 9 o'clock news local edition on Rock 93.7. We've been talking tonight with Of the Sky, catching up with them uh, where they're at. Last time we talked with you, you guys had finished up your album? We are currently still in the progress of making it. Last fall, we hit a number of shows, as he said, and then we set a time to not really search out any more shows or plan anything until about spring, summertime, which we're coming up on soon. We want to take time to set up our recording gear and get everything that we had already played at our shows in a recorded format so we can distribute it at our shows. And we are about 
I'd say about halfway. So, since you take on kind of doing it yourself, it's kind of a long, drawn-out process. I mean, you don't have somebody to just walk in and play, and then it's their responsibility to fix any of your goofs or any of your mess-ups. It's basically it's as good or as bad as you want it to be. One of the things that has slowed down that progress would have to be the lineup change, going with having John moving on to doing something else and then bringing in Grayson. Yeah. That little transition. You guys had a dynamic. How has it been bringing in somebody else to that dynamic? Uh, well, like I, I played with Grayson before in one of my previous bands called Knee Deep in Stereo, and Grayson uh, had be- played with Lynn Garrett in Fate of Adam. So Grayson had moved out of the area, then just kind of moved back in the area, and we've always been good buddies, you know, pretty much friends for life. It's like me and Joey, just you know, same sense of humor, same taste in music, same lifestyle, same everything, and it, it was a really easy transition because one, we had previous experience with one another, and Grayson likes the music that we make. And kind of adopts our attitude of, you know, take us or leave us. So It has to fit outside of band practice to be able to make it into band practice, I think. And yeah, you guys yes, I'd agree with that, yeah. Kind of definitely bring that together. You've worked up some material. I think we touched on a couple of times here. You're trying to get it progressed into where you've got the album. You've already given us one of your tracks. Yes. And we had some other tracks that were in rotation. Are those going to be on the album as well? Or Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those songs are our babies. With the new material, we pretty much set the bar that it needs to be as good as, if not better, than the ones that we had applied to you before. With that, that's the reason why the bar feels like so set so high for us. If it's not up to the standard of a four-letter word or cross my heart or providence, we've kind of decided you know, to kind of kick it out. So with the new stuff that we're presenting you, I mean, we feel as though it can run or it's even better than our... Pre- previous material because in our mind if it's not any better then it's just regression and it's that's not what we're about and there'll come a point where you have these online too the other tracks that you mentioned are up there online so people can check those out you've got those up online we'll get to where they are a little bit later first i want to play one of these songs collapse Mm -hmm. this is another one that you've been working up tell me about it uh collapse is it's one of those songs that kind of comes together as a loose idea um it was actually a collaboration between myself and john before john left it was kind of um, bent around the idea that we wanted to do something as a set opener, something that was fast and aggressive and in a really short amount of time. So it's about a minute 48 song, and it pretty much straight off the bat, the minute it hits, it's like a kick in the chest. There's no build up, there's no intro, just straight into it. As far as content and material goes, it's just about cutting the strings from somebody whose opinion mattered to you or somebody who had control over your life. Some of the big lines in it are, they can't take away what you don't let them have. Uh, The concept that you have control over what you do and that so many people in their life worry so much about what other people think of them. You know, they never really identify their true selves because they're so busy trying to be pleasers. It's one of the ones that I'm the most proud of because I feel like it was kind of a stretch for us we'd kind of fallen into being a certain type of band, and it was one of those songs that kind of broke us from being that band early. It it made us want to be more aggressive and a little bit more up-tempo than we were before. A little more up-tempo, it is of the sky. It's Collapse on the 9 o'clock News Local Edition on Rock 93.7. It has been a bit of a journey for of the sky, starting out, moving on with a few songs, kind of growing those songs, and but their lineup too. It's the nine o'clock news on Rock ninety three seven, the local edition tonight. Talking with of the sky, I've got say who you are again. What you do? I'm Joey. I'm the drummer in the band, and I'm Joseph. I'm the um, guitar and vocalist. And as we mentioned earlier, one short tonight that was Grayson. Yep. Shout out to Grayson at Hutchinson in Overton County. They said he was a magnificent bassist. Sorry, we missed out on getting to talk with him tonight. Uh, where can they check you out at? Um, just kind of going around the horn. I'll take one. You take a few others. Um, we have a band camp. Um, basically, a lot of bands recently have a band camp account. Uh, ours is just We Are of the Sky at Bandcamp. Um, you can pretty much get our music for free on there. We also have a SoundCloud for Of the Sky. Uh, as far as our Facebook goes, we have a Facebook for Of the Sky. That's facebook.com slash of the sky. We also have a Reverb Nation page, which is the same with a, just a backslash of the sky as well. And I believe both those both of those sites have our music on it as well for free. It has the anthology. Woo! And we will be we will be adding our new we will be adding our new track. And your show dates are up there as well. Yes. And uh, we've actually got a couple shows upcoming. Um, we're tentatively scheduled to play the Upper Cumberland uh, Pride Festival at the Hyderberg's Pavilion in May. Uh, we're setting up a couple of our own shows in Overton County in um, 
in relation with a couple of the charities in the area. We, we love doing charitable work. Um, we like doing uh, shows and festivals to get um, basically kids and young adults out because uh, in the county that I live in, Overton County, there's not a whole lot of stuff to do there. So anytime you do anything musically related, people tend to come out in droves. So there's a lot of irons in the fire, a couple things booked, a couple things that are kind of pending, and a couple things that we're going to pretty much take on on our own. You can keep up with all of that mm-hmm. online. Best place is, of course, their Facebook page. I want to thank Elder Sky for talking with us tonight. Thank you for having us, Greg. Oh, yeah, Greg. Uh, pleasure as always, sir. Pleasure was definitely mine. This has been Of the Sky on the 9 o'clock News Local Edition here on Rock 93.7.